Hello there, welcome to today's lesson. So today we shall be learning about living and non-living things. Living and non-living things. Alright, so let's take a look at introduction to living and non-living things. So when you look around you, there are so many things that you can see around you. And then these things that you see form the environment. So some of these things that you can see around you, you have the trees, you have animals, you have schools, you have houses, hospitals, cars, tables, bars, and so many other. All the things we see around us can be put into two groups. So these are living things and non-living things. So the things that are found in the environment can be put into two groups or can be classified into two groups which are the living and then what non-living things so we have living things and then non-living things that forms up the environment good so let's take a look at what living things are so when we say living things living things are things that have life in them living things are things that have life in them so Anything that has life in it is a living thing. So you, a human being, have life in you and as such you are a living thing. The animals that are around us, they have life in them. They are also living things. We have the plants. Plants are also living things. Good. Now let's take a look at non-living things so when we say non-living things non-living things are things that do not have life in them non-living things are things that do not have life in them so let's take a look at some examples of non-living things or things that do not have life in them we have stones we have tables we have glasses we have rubbers we have water we have cars we have uh, chess we have uh, shoes and so many other things so anything that has no life in it is a non-living thing good so let's take a look at animals as living things animals as living things so all animals found around us are living things all animals found around us are living things because they have what life in them some animals can be found in our homes some animals can also be found in bushes and then forest there are animals that also live in water animals that live with us in our homes are called domestic animals so animals that live with us at home they are known as what domestic animals some examples of domestic animals are dogs, goats, sheep, cats, cattle, fowl, and so many others. Animals that live in the forest are known as wild animals. Animals that live in the forest, they are known as what? Wild animals. So let's take a look at some examples of wild animals. We have the lion, we have the tiger, we have the snake. We have the rhino, we have the hippopotamus, we have the giraffe, and so many other animals that uh, fall under this category of uh, animals. So let's take a look at the categories of animals. So the following are some categories of animals. So looking at the picture, you can see several types of uh, animals in there. So let's go into details and then get to know about the categories of uh, animals. Good. So we have insects. So insects belong to a class of animals known as insecta. They are, the bodies of insects are divided into three main parts. So the bodies of insects are divided into three main parts. We have the head, we have the thorax, and then the abdomen. 
So these are the three parts that uh, form the parts of the insect. We have the head, we have the thorax, and then the abdomen. Some examples of insects are mosquitoes, we have butterflies, we have bees, we have ants, we have termites, we have cockroaches, and then grasshoppers. Insects have six legs attached to their thorax. Insects live everywhere. They live in our environment. They can be found in forests, bushes, even in the soil. Most insects feed on plant leaves and the nectar of flowers. Some insects like the butterfly and the bee have wings that help them to what? Fly. So the insects, some insects like the butterfly and then the bee, they have what? Wings which help them or which enables them to fly. Other insects like ants can only crawl. The ants can only crawl because it has no wing and as such it can't fly. Some insects are covered with cuticles. An example of an insect with a cuticle is a grasshopper. So a grasshopper is an insect which has what? A cuticle. Good. So looking at the picture uh, beneath it, you can see several uh, types of uh, insects. You can see the ladybird, the butterfly, the cockroach, the ant, uh, the dragonfly, and so many others. All right, so with our next category, we have birds. So birds are animals with two legs, wings, feathers, and then a beak. Birds do not give birth. Instead, they lay eggs. They are birds that live with us in our homes and in our communities. They are birds that also live in forests and in the bushes. Most birds feed on grains fruits and smaller animals like worms and insects. There are birds that can fly and then birds that cannot fly. Some examples of birds that cannot fly are ostrich, turkey, duck and then the peacock. We have other birds that do not fly as well which may not maybe have not been uh, mentioned here. These birds can only walk and hop. Some of these birds are big and others are small. Examples of big birds are ostrich, eagle, turkey, and then the peacock. Some examples of small birds are parrot, the dove, and then the pigeon. So looking at the picture there, we have uh, some pictures of a uh, or some types of birds in the let's take a look at another category of uh, animals so we have mammals mammals are animals that have fur or fur on their bodies mammals are animals that have hair or fur on their bodies most mammals have four legs except for a few ones. Human beings are mammals with two legs. Female mammals do not lay eggs, instead they give birth. So mammals give birth but they do not what lay eggs. They are animals that what give birth. Mammals feed on various kinds of foods from plants and other animals. Some examples of mammals are goats, sheep, elephant, dog, giraffe, cow, monkey, cat, and then the rabbit. Let's take a look at another category of uh, animals. We have reptiles. Reptiles are animals that have their bodies covered with dry scales. Reptiles lay eggs. Reptiles live both on land and in water. Some reptiles have legs. Others do not have legs at all. An example of a reptile without leg is the snake. So you realize that the snake is a reptile but it has no what? Leg. 
let's take a look at some examples of the reptiles we have the lizard we have the tortoise we have the chameleon we have the crocodile we have the war gecko we have uh, the turtle so let's take a look at the picture so with the picture you can see some examples of reptiles in there good so the last category is amphibian so amphibians are animals that live both on land and in water these animals are called amphibian most reptiles are amphibian so let's take a look at some examples of uh, amphibians we have frogs we have the crocodile we have the salamander we have the snake and then the newt some amphibians like frogs crocodiles and salamanders have four limbs or legs some amphibians like the snake and the snail do not have limbs or do not have legs they move on their bellies or they crawl good so let's take a look at the picture so look when you look at the picture you realize that you have some uh, types of uh, amphibians in there good so we've been able to identify what a living thing is we've been able to identify some examples of living things you've been able to come up with what a non-living thing is some examples of non-living things and then we took a look at animals as living things and then we came up with the categories of uh, animals we have the mammals we have amphibians we have reptiles we have birds good so these are some of the categories of uh, animals good so this brings us to the end of the lesson i hope i've been able to impact some knowledge onto you hopefully we shall meet another time bye bye